To some people, comic books are nothing to lose sleep over. But there's a whole bunch of people who will be losing sleep over comics this weekend. Professional and amateur comic artists in Edmonton will be joining others around the world celebrating something called 24-Hour Comics Day. We have a few guys in the studio today. Uh, we have artists. We have Rudy Gunther over here and Matt Louie over on this far side. And Jay Bartola is the owner of Happy Harbor Comics in the middle. going to tell us all about this. The guys are drawing... And they're going to be drawing more this weekend. What is 24-Hour Comic Day? Well, 24-Hour Comic Day um, originally started over a decade ago uh, by Scott McCloud, who's a comic book writer. And mm -hmm. it was a challenge to a slow-working artist, um, basically a guy who just wasn't meeting a lot of deadlines. So we oh, said, okay. you know, try to do a page an hour, do 24 pages in a day. And uh, about three years ago, they kind of formalized it to become a global event, mm -hmm. uh, encouraging comic book stores to promote this, to bring in artists and have them go. And basically, the concept is to do one comic book page per hour and complete a 24 page story in 24 consecutive hours. With, with full illustrations and everything You've and the got whole a, idea and the story and all that stuff. You're supposed to, in the spirit of the competition, as yeah. it were, uh, you're supposed to come in completely blank. Yep. So you come in and uh, create characters, concepts, you do your story, you pencil, you ink, you do the whole do thing. All of it. Something that would normally take, if you were doing a proper book, uh, about two months and about four people <laughs> yeah. uh, to do their one person. Each individual person is going to try to do on their own in one day. Okay, now I'm just going to steal this for a second, Rudy, because I know you're working. So basically, when you guys got here about an hour ago, uh, this is what he started working on. Yep. And, uh, you know, it's gotten a little... It's. This is going to be a basic version, right? Uh, very basic. I mean, it's the quality is not what you're going for. You're going yeah. for creativity. Get back you're, at it. You're right. going for, you know, it's it's the it's the personal challenge of, yeah. of trying to get that out there and get it done. Okay, we'll check check out Matt's in, in a second. Sure. Uh, how many people do you get involved in this? Um, last year we had 13. Officially, right now we have 11 people signed up. Yeah. Um, so you know, there's a few people who are kind of sitting on the fence. It does require uh, a lot of uh, well, a dedication and, and effort. Now the difference between, you know, basically I'm looking at, at what we're ending up here. Now what's the difference between comic book artistry mm -hmm. and cartoonists? Because there is well, a difference, of course. There is a little bit of a difference. Um, cartoonists generally are writers and artists. Mm -hmm. It's it's a combination of two, whereas when you look at a comic book artist, they're primarily just artists. And even within the comic book industry, there's more than one type of artist because you have comic book, you have artists and you have inkers. Um, plus, you also have people who do coloring. There's many different facets that go into completing a full comic page. Okay. Uh, well, let's just take a look at a little bit of this one, yeah, because obviously we saw some of what the guys were doing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, obviously, you can think of comic books, most people would think of things like uh, Superman or Batman or whatever, something like that. Very right? heavily detailed yeah. uh, work. A lot of effort goes into that. And, uh, again, you're looking at... You know, professional artists, and a professional artist will take about eight hours to do one page. Uh -huh. uh, whereas here, you know, you're if you go more than one hour for one page, you're behind schedule. Now, you also decided <laughs> you wanted to do this as a bit of a fundraiser as well, right? Yes. Uh, as the event has been formally done for the last three years on a global scale, we have uh, we do our event, uh, and to my knowledge, we're the only one that's been uh, doing this event as a fundraiser. We're mm. supporting the Alberta Literacy Foundation. Which is very appropriate during read-in week and obviously with comic books. Yeah, uh, and uh, for us, yeah, literacy is a big thing. It's uh, A lot of us learn to read growing up with comic books. So mm -hmm. it's very important to us. Last year, we raised over $1,600 um, from our 13 uh, participants. This year, we're hoping to go over that amount a as well. A little bit higher than that. Yeah. Uh, so at the end of the 24 hours, when nobody's had any sleep and they've gotten through <laughs> and they created, what happens to these works? Well, what happens, two things. One, um, our store, we take all the work and we scan it and we send it off to the company About Comics. And About Comics takes their hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of submissions and they create these highlight books uh, from right worldwide. So they do. Uh, and they, those get distributed worldwide as well. So there's the opportunity for anyone who participates to get published and uh, have some of these are really good. Some of them aren't, yeah, by the it's, way. Uh, but that's that's the thing. It's it's it invites everyone, no matter what their skill level or what their quality. Yeah. Uh, it, it's truly a creative exercise. The second thing that happens with it is we take all the finished artwork that's done in our store as well, and we publish our own book. Oh, that's very cool. Um, so we do a lot of self-publishing. So we have our own 24-hour book from last year, from 2005. Mm. And even in the intern, between 24-hour events, we do a few 12-hour events as well. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, we just try to keep people going, give them an excuse to 
to keep at it and, mm. and working. You know what? There's some of these that are like for over 24 hours that are that are pretty pretty darn good actually. Yeah. Quite, quite that detailed. one's actually not a full 24 page. Oh, see, so that's so a that's, lot. that's kind of the cheater. <laughs> uh, if you want to know more about it, basically there's a couple of websites you can check out, and that is uh, 24hourcomics.com or happyharborcomics.com, and this is going Saturday, three o'clock, and I take it at oh, uh, 10 a.m. We're starting. We, we start at 10 a.m. Saturday morning until 10 a.m. Sunday morning. Okay, it's going to be a long Saturday night. Does it get a little goofy there at about uh, usually about six three, in the morning? three, four a.m. That's when it comes around, and depending on uh, on who comes around and the sponsors that we get giving right. us the caffeine, that uh, that kind of plays good. into it as well. I hope you're able to raise money for his letter. You guys have a good time. I'm glad Thank we you. got you. See, you're sort of practicing now. There. That's probably not fair. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Nice talking to you, buddy. Thank you very much.